What is up everybody? Video Addict here and the day is upon us. The day is tomorrow. The day that you must get out and vote. The world is a crazy, crazy place right now. We have to get out there and make our voices heard because that's the only way they're going to listen. At some point, you might think that they would actually think America wants what they say they want, not what they tell us we want. I mean, what kind of a world are we living in where before the election, businesses are boarding up their windows? They're boarding up their windows to protect themselves from Democrats. I said it. I'm not afraid to say it. I've already cast my vote. I voted Trump 2020 all the way because my Republicans ain't out there burning down cities. The people boarding up the windows, they're not boarding it up to protect from us, from conservatives, Republicans, whatever. They're boarding it up. So if hopefully when Trump wins, that they don't go crazy and destroy everything. And that's their answer. That's the left's answer. Their answer is to just burn everything down. That's why we cannot let them get this power. We're just, we're, there's too much at stake. People don't think about little things. I've been thinking about it a lot. You know, they're talking about killing Trump's tax cut. It's not going to affect people under $400,000. Well, they're going to repeal the tax cut. The tax cut gave me $400 extra a month. That's $4,800 a year. So if they repeal the whole plan, he didn't say he was keeping the part for us under $400,000. He just said that he's repealing the whole plan. I think that they mean you won't pay any more taxes than you were before the Trump tax cut. I'm middle class. I got $400 extra. I can't even start building my house. I am packed. All my stuff is packed in my girlfriend's house because I can't even start building my house right now because people aren't going to work. Lumber is out the roof expensive. And what's going to happen right now, you've probably heard about the housing market. It's been really good. It's a perfect time for buyers because you're buying at low interest rates. The, the rates are amazing right now. What happens to all those people who are buying? Let's just, let's be honest. Me, among those, we all live paycheck to paycheck. Everybody lives to their, to whatever they make. So those people who just bought them houses, what's going to happen to the housing market whenever them people lose 400 extra dollars a month? Housing market crash, maybe I'm, I'm just spitballing. It just don't make any sense. Then they want to, make you pay more taxes to give people free college. Go work. They want to talk about, oh, these other countries with free health care. Yeah, you know how much their taxes are? They're astronomical. They're so freaking crazy. This don't make any sense, people. It just don't make any sense. You don't get anything for free in life. If you ain't learned that yet, you need to hurry up and get it because reality is coming close and it's gonna freaking knock you in the dirt. Last thing, everyone, seriously, all you people, I know it's hard. Republicans, not calling you lazy, we're, we just work hard and it's hard to work and then go and spend your free time standing in line to cast a vote whenever you think about yourself being one person. 
but you're not just one person. You're the next person. And that matters. Make your voice heard. Let them know we don't want all that craziness. We don't want our housing mar market failing. We don't want fires burning in the street with no repercussions. I know it's, I'm not just talking to Republicans here. I'm talking to Democrats. <laughs> Democrats, which one of you, I ain't even saying it like that. I just, who can stand to lose $400? I mean, I, you can sit here and talk about it being Trump is a jerk and all this, but Trump is getting things done and he's realistic about what we can do. We can't just give away everything. <sighs> this has nothing to do with race. I love everybody. I don't, I don't like the Black Lives Matter. I don't like their, I don't, I don't trust their, their agenda. I just don't, I don't like the way that they're going about it. It's not, it's just not the way. Burning and tearing things down is not the way to get people to get on your side. It just, it's just not. I just, I just don't see how electing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is a step in the right direction for this country. And it's weird to just narrow it down to money, but there's a reason why the economy is such a big deal here. It's because it what it's it's the driving factor in all of our lives. You go to work to make money. You want to make money to have nicer things, to live more comfortable life. You don't just let them take it away from you and only get what they tell you you can have. I've been out here too long. <laughs> that's that's my that's my note to come inside. The over the top democratic way is not the best way for the country right now. It just doesn't fit. And I hope y'all see that. Please get out and vote. Please. That's it. That's all I got for you. Y'all take it easy. I'm out.